I'm Camille from Camille's Prime Ideas, and today I have a singing time lesson plan for teaching the still small voice. Now, there is nothing you need to print for the singing, singing time activity, but you do need to gather a list of supplies from around your house. Um, I have a whole list um, available. You can find that using the link below. Okay, so you do need a bunch of supplies, which I'll get to that, what they are in just a minute. And then you also need a, I have a cardboard box here, kind of about this size, or you just need a trifold um, poster board just to create some sort of barrier so the kids can't see what you're doing. All right, so for this activity, you will want to post the words. And I just like this so I can just get teachers to help me sing so I'm not up singing a solo and then kids who can read if they want to, it helps them sing along as well. All right, so what you're going to be do, doing is when you sing the song, instead of singing the words listen, you are going to be shaking or making noise as they sing that word. So for instance, so you'll have your box propped up here and your items so they can't see it. This is just to kind of hide. You can really use any sort of barricade. You'll put your list of supplies in there and you'll be singing the song, and then when you come to the word, listen, where is it? Listen, there we go. Listen, listen. You will be shaking the item, and the children will need to discover or guess what item that you used. So my first one here that I have is just an egg shaker. So when you sing the word, listen, Listen, listen. I'm sure they'll be able to guess what that is, especially if your primary is well acquainted with eggs like mine is. Okay, another thing I have here, oh, I have to share. I may or may not have bought this for this lesson plan. <laughs> it's a duck collar. All right, so when you sing listen, you're going to blow the duck collar. That'll really shake things up in the primary. I'm so excited for this one, actually. I know I usually don't like to buy something that is just kind of one song specific, but I just couldn't help myself. So anyway, duck collar. Um, another one that I have, oh, is flip through the pages of a book. So you don't need to go buy anything. I just found this in our bookshelf and you can just flip through the pages, okay? Um, another one I have is, let's set this down, handbell, listen, listen, they should know that sound if they're familiar with handbells. Um, I have a slinky here, listen, so they won't be singing on those words, listen, they'll be actually listening. So I love that they're actually doing what they're singing about, listen, and they have to be quiet so they can hear it. All right. I love that. Um, some other things I have are clicking a pen. I don't know if you can hear this with my click a pen. Um, I have a jingle bell. I have a hammer. You can just pound on the table. A stapler. I mean, really, household, common household items is, is all you need. Uh, I have a kazoo. We use these in singing time, so the kids will recognize this one. And then I have some coins just in a bag and shake that. Um, what else do I have on my list that I didn't gather? You can do a ringtone, like on your phone. You can just play that. You can do a chime. You can do a whistle. Um, a toy clapper, like those hands that kind of go back and forth. You can bounce a ball, maybe like a, like a mini basketball or something, if you have something like that. Um, you can pop balloons, maybe pop, you'll need four of them for the four times you sing listen. Um, a bike horn, electric drill, handheld mixer if you have a battery operated one. I mean, canned air, white noise maker, party favor blowers, you can crumple paper. That's a really easy one that you would need to buy anything. Pour water from one cup to another. Spray, spray a bottle with some water. Anyway, tons of ideas and you're just, it's gonna get your children singing this song over and over and over again just to hear the next sound. Isn't that great? I love the simplicity of it. And I just love that they are getting to listen. Just listen, trying to figure it out. And I would almost say if they don't figure it out the first time, sing it again, use the same object, and repeat. So I would probably say you probably need at least 10, I would say 10 items to get through all of singing time. 
And how fun is that? They get to guess. And then once they've guessed it, you get to reveal it and then move on to a new activity. So then I always just make sure that I bear testimony that when we are familiar with the spirit, we know what it feels like and can easily recognize it. So I hope that helps you in singing time this week. It's really easy and really fun. And I know the children are going to love trying to guess the sounds. So I would love to hear how it goes for you in the comments.